Welcome to DIT University. This guide will help you to activate your official email ID provided by the university and access the ERP portal, a one-stop shop for managing your academic journey at DIT University. How to activate your official email ID? Please keep your provisional admission letter handy to begin the process. Open the browser and enter outlook.office.com. You can log in through the email ID provided in your provisional admission letter. The password is also provided in the same letter, which will be your first name with the first alphabet in capital letter, at the rate, year, month, date of birth. Now you have to reset your password. The new password should have minimum of eight characters including one in capital, numbers and special characters. You have successfully logged in to your email account. All official communication will be made on this email ID in the future. Visit the DIT University website at www.dituniversity.edu.in. Look for the ERP login button on the top navigation bar. Click on and choose the new students option. There are two options to log in. The first one is through the user ID password sent to you through your provisional admission letter. And the second one is through the Outlook account provided by the university. Let us see how you can log in using the login credentials. Click on the forgot password option. Enter the ERP ID or user ID provided in your provisional admission letter. Also, enter the email ID provided in the same letter and click on the Submit button. Upon verification, you will receive an OTP on your registered mobile number. Your password has been sent to your email. Please check your email. Enter the user ID and password received on your official mail ID. You will be prompted for an OTP again. After verification of OTP, you will be able to access the portal. You can also Log in using your official university email ID mentioned in your admission letter. On the login screen, click on Login with Outlook mail ID. Follow the on-screen instructions to proceed. You have successfully logged in. Let us see how we can complete the onboarding process on the portal. 
The portal's left navigation panel provides a menu of options. Explore these options to access various features. Most functionalities are self-explanatory. Kindly ensure that you have paid the fee outstanding in full. Otherwise, the onboarding option may not be visible on your screen. To deposit your remaining fees, click on the fee option and click on online payments from the menu option. The system will display your fee details. You can adjust the payable amount if necessary. Explore the respective menu options for further details on fee structure. Now, let us complete the onboarding process. After clearance of fee due, the onboarding option will be activated. You need to refresh the screen if instantly not activated, else you may log off and log in again. Click on the onboarding tab. The system will prompt you for an OTP verification of your parents or guardian's mobile number. You need to select the appropriate option, either both parents or single parent. Enter the mobile number of the parent or the local guardian. It will be authenticated by an OTP verification. On successful verification, you can start filling the form. Please note, all questions are mandatory. Kindly ensure that you fill the correct information. Also ensure that you are ready with your parents' photograph, a scanned copy of the cancelled cheque, and your bank account details as mentioned in the form. Once you have filled all the necessary information, the system will take you to the next screen where you need to upload the required documents. Please note, already submitted documents will be auto-populated at the bottom of the screen. You need not submit them again. Please note, here you need to submit two documents. The joint undertaking should be made on rupees 100 stamp paper while the parent undertaking need not be on the stamp paper. You can download the format from the screen itself. Once the documents are ready, you need to upload a copy of the same in the relevant section on the screen.
for the documents which are either not available or not applicable as of now, you may select the no option. However, you will have to submit the documents during the verification process which will be scheduled on the campus. Once you have uploaded the documents, kindly click on the checkbox and submit. If you have opted for the university hostel accommodation, the system will take you to another screen for hostel onboarding. Here also you need to upload the documents. Please download the format from the screen and prepare the undertaking on the stamp paper and then upload. With this, you have completed the onboarding formalities. After this, you may see your provisional ID card under My Profile section on the portal. The hostelers can download the hostel boarding pass and also carry it uh, for the physical onboarding process on the campus. Kindly note that the students must carry their ID card and the undertaking during check-in to university physically. Additionally, the hostelers will have to carry the hostel form and the hostel onboarding pass. For further queries, feel free to reach us at the given mobile number.